we, we're already in the healthcare crisis, okay? And now they want to take away our, our SNAP benefits and stuff, especially the elderly, because the elderly, they don't tend to go out to, to frequent the soup kitchens, they don't tend to go out to frequent the food pantries. You know, they if they can't get it, they just will do without. And then what's going to happen? More visits to the doctor's office, more visits to the to the ER, and 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 then what what was that? It is like a vicious circle, okay? And then for our younger, for our youth, you know, you, I can't. I'm 52 years old. I can't do anything hungry. I can't sleep hungry. I can't read hungry. I can't study hungry. Nothing hungry, because you know why? Because the only thing I'm thinking about is this growl that's in my stomach. And if our children go to school hungry, what's that gonna mean? That's gonna mean that they can't concentrate. There's less concentration for them in school, you know? And then their grades are gonna fall off. And then guess what? Then they're not gonna graduate. They're not gonna be, and then you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna turn to the streets, you know? So it all boils down to a good meal at night so they can, at a, a well rest so they can get up and go to school and be the best they can be.